Hello everybody. Uh, today I have a very special game to fix, as you can see, Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. Uh, a lot of people have amazing things to say about this game. I do as well. I played it on uh, emulator several years ago. I beat it. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I'm really excited to be able to fix it. Uh, I got this recently on eBay. And... <sighs> for a considerably less than what a working game would go for, which I'm excited about, but uh, I was kind of surprised by the title of the eBay auction because he actually said what was wrong with the uh, game. So he, uh, usually people just say it doesn't work for parts or whatever. He actually put the problem in the title, which means uh, someone had to open it up and look at it. Uh, but what really stood out to me was that he said the board had been cracked along with uh, one of the tabs you see here. Uh, it's a little mangled. But uh, <clears throat> I saw that the board had, board had been cracked and I fixed two of those before. So I hope if it really is cracked, I'll be able to bring it back to life. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. This is going to be the first time I open it. Um, and if it really is cracked, I have a few props I can show off about uh, my theories as to why it cracked and uh, other carts that may have this problem. So, let's go ahead. I have a 3.8 millimeter security bit you can buy on Amazon or other place. It's for opening up cartridges. Uh, the, the larger version of it opens up Super Nintendos and things like that. Uh, I have a multimeter here for uh, checking out traces in the future. I have a fiberglass pen for cleaning the uh, pins on the cartridge and off screen I have a notebook that I may take notes on. So let us begin. These screws are a little corroded. Hopefully I can fix that before I put them back in. I want it to look nice and sharp. Okay. Yeah, this is a little cracked right here, but it's on there. Unfortunately, it's the front part. If it's the back, I could have swapped it out with a sports game or something like that. So I just won't touch that. Uh, all right, here is the cartridge itself. Oh yeah, there's a big crack right in the center. Man, that's big. Hmm. That's not where I thought it was going to be. It looks like it was pump. I don't know, someone hit it here. Usually, the two that I fixed have had cracks on the side here. I'll show you one that I fixed here. Um, the corner right here, somehow a, car, or a crack had propagated down. I had to jump a lot of traces. This looks like I'm going to have to jump a lot because it's right in the center, right among where all these ICs connect. Oof, this is going to be a big hassle. Hmm. I was not expecting something that big. Because uh, I, I honestly don't know how carts like this get broken. How, do, how, do, how does that happen inside the cart here? There's no way, especially in the center. I wonder, it looks like maybe the cart got crushed or something right here. That lines up. I don't know. Let's see. Let's recreate the scene. Yeah, I'm guessing it was stepped on or something right here. That's where the IC pins punctured the plastic. Hmm. Yeah, man, that's a bad break. Well, I was going to, uh, you know, try to find the broken traces, but it looks like this has a lot of broken traces and it's gonna take forever on screen. <laughs> so I may just do that off screen. This is going to take a long time and it's gonna be a mess of wires. I hope it's fixable because obviously it's a great game. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to get at it. I guess I'll film a little bit, but uh, I don't know. I don't think I have enough 
room on my phone to film it all. So I have the multimeter. All you need right now is a continuity checker. So if there's continuity between play two places, it'll beep. So let's look at from here to any one of these pins. And there's no continuity, so it's easy to find where it should connect. Actually, I'm an idiot. It connects up there. Okay, well that's... There you go, but it has... Hmm. Yeah. You know, I think I'm going to do this off screen because this is going to take a long time. So, bear with me. Thanks. Okay, instead of trying to uh, re-solder all the traces that are broken, of which there are many, uh, I decided that it'd be better to get a donor cart and swap out the mask ram IC. Uh, so you can see right here, this is the board type SHVC-1J3M-20. Um, if you Google that, you can find out what other games use that board. So I am on SNESCentral.com. Uh, you can see all of the games. So um, a lot of uh, games that were not released in America. Uh, I'm obviously not going to use games like Breath of Fire and Chrono Trigger because they also cost a lot. But you see there's a few games at the bottom. Ken Griffey's Jr. Winning Run, NBA... NBA Hang Time, NHL 97, they're all relatively cheap games. I'm going to go to my friendly local game store tomorrow, try to get one. Um, I'm also going to need to buy a desoldering station to desolder, desolder the chips. So this is going to be a multi-day uh, process. Uh, but it'll be way better because you can see the crack runs all along here. All those traces are ruined. In the front, the ground traces are ruined. It is a mess. And if I were to try to, to solder on wires, this board is going to be a mess. So hopefully I'll just be able to swap out the uh, mask RAM. This is the SRAM. That's where your save games are stored. Um, unfortunately, uh, the save game will be lost. And when I do desolder it, I will have to jump the battery because uh, NBA Hang Time or whatever game I get, the save game won't be compatible. So I don't want to corrupt the uh, mask RAM or something like that. So I'll see you in a few days when I have all this, the materials. Alright, I'm back from my friendly local game store. And I just realized that my workbench looks nasty. You never know until you see it on camera and you realize, wow, I need to clean up. But I don't have time for that. So, I came back with two games that are potential donor boards. Uh, this is the Earthbound cartridge. And it, you can kind of see the cracks there. This is Madden 97. This is Madden 95. Uh, when I opened up Madden 97, that is supposed to have the same board as Earthbound, and it kind of surprised me that it uh, has a slightly different name. It's EA1J3M20. This is SHVC1J3M20. So it's probably the same board. EA, I assume, is Electronic Arts. Uh, I'll have to do a little bit more research to make sure that's a good donor board. Uh, but in the meantime, I have Madden 95. This has an earlier revision, SHVC1J3M11. And you can see they all look very, very similar. So it's possible that either of these could be a donor board. I'm also skeptical. Uh, this is the, uh, the VRAM, I'm sorry, the SRAM chip. That's where the save games are stored. And Earthbound is very, very particular about copy protection, if it doesn't have the right SRAM size, then you may not be able to play the game or you'll find out uh, 40 hours in that they think that you are uh, copied the game. So if I use this board, I will probably desolder this. I'm not sure if that's 64 
uh, kilobytes or not. I don't know. I need to do my research. It's probably just a safe bet. If I'm going to desolder these big chips, you might as well desolder these slightly smaller chips. A little bit more work, but the payoff may be better. So I'm going to get doing that. I'll probably practice with the, these donor carts. Um, desoldering them. I don't have my desolder station in so I'm going to use my solder sucker for as much as I can and we'll go from there. Alright, I'm back to my dirty and cluttered workbench. I've completed the soldering. Uh, unfortunately I didn't get any footage of it. I was too excited. Um, but I have the Madden 95 board. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, no. This is the earthbound board. Um, the chip has been removed. I'm starting with uh, just the uh, mask ROM it's called. If I'm not able to play it or it's not able to save or something like that, I'll move over the uh, SRAM. Here is the chip. This is holding Madden 95 on it. I will save that because this is a classic. Madden 95 was probably the best Madden. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Okay, so, here we go, the first test. Obviously very nervous, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Here we go. Oh. My goodness. Wow. First time, I can't believe it! Man, that feels good. I can't believe it. Stereo sound, it's gotta be. Hmm. Peanut. Sorry, I gotta go with the classic. Just like with all Zelda games. Let's see if we can get a little closer. It looks like it's really washed out. Oh man, I feel embarrassed. I don't remember her name. This is sad. I can't believe this is on camera too. Really pathetic. Alright, all I can think of right now. Obviously not a true Earthbound fan. Oh, I should have done that. Idiot. Here we go. Put his cup. I remember that. It's been a long time since I played this. I played it uh, <clears throat> on an emulator and playing it now like this makes me feel great. Rocket. Okay. I should have looked up the copy protection because I don't want... Um, something weird happens, I want to know if that's copy protection screwing up. Uh, man, this looks awesome. I can't believe it! Ugh, it's been a roller coaster ride ever since I saw that crush board. I can't believe it's alive. Alright, I'm gonna need some alone time. I'm gonna play this. If there's any more developments, if it doesn't save or anything like that, I'll be back. If not, Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, I said I'd come back to you if there are any more problems. There's not. I've played the Earthbound game. I've saved. I restarted. Everything seems good. I'm still happy. But I feel like I still owe you a little bit because I didn't show you how I was going to desolder everything. So I'm going to go back and show you what I should have done. Because this is the day after. I was waiting for a solder uh, system and for this PCB holder. I just couldn't wait. I was too excited. I was like, you know what? I just gotta, I gotta get this done. You know, um, I was so excited. I didn't even film, you know, me desoldering the chip. So I'm gonna go back and desolder another thing. I have my uh, Madden 97 board here, which could be used as a uh, a replacement, uh, probably in the future. I'll hold on to this for a while. But I'm going to desolder the mask chip. I'm not going to completely just de desolder just a few. Um, the exact same thing I did yesterday. Um, 
I'm just going to do it again. So, what I should have done yesterday is wait for today until I got this bad boy, because this is very helpful. Uh, this can hold your PCBs in place. I'm just going to slide it and then lock it down. You don't want to put a lot of pressure. There's a little spring here, so you can put a little bit of pressure, but you obviously don't want to squeeze this board. You just want to hold it in place. And then you can rotate it like that. Um, maybe I should give a little bit more pressure on it. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna rotate it so that all of the pins are facing up. That way, uh, <clears throat> It's kind of hard, I have the camera in my way. I obviously wouldn't do this if I was just doing it normally. Okay, so methods of desoldering. We have the desolder wick. Um, this is like a, for small jobs, if you don't want to clean up all the solder, maybe you added a little too much and you just want to dab it away, what you would do is you just place this on the pin and suck it up. Um, I, I don't really like these because um, uh, there's only a limited amount. You have to snip it away and buy new ones. And I accidentally bought too thin desolder wick, and I'm I'm just an idiot. So I try to use this sparingly. Otherwise, I use the desolder pump. Uh, and I realize my solder station is not on. So give me one second. I'm going to turn that on. The solder station is ready. So I have my desolder pump. You essentially depress the spring and then sucks it up. So you can use this infinitely as long as it doesn't get clogged. All of your solder is going to get trapped in this area so you will have to clean it up and it kind of does make a mess. It tries to suck up the solder but it doesn't always go in the tube. So yesterday I just made a mess. Um, so watch, I melt the solder like this and then you gotta get it as close to the solder as you can. And it doesn't always do a good job, and unfortunately I have the camera in my way, but you have to cock it every time. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not going to do this with the camera in my way. That's also why I waited yesterday, because I wanted, you know, the optimal space. But essentially I desoldered all of these, had to kind of work the chip away. I wish I waited for the solder pump, because just a few seconds ago I sucked up these pins. And I made a video of that, which I'm going to show afterwards. It's, it's a weird timeline. <laughs> so I'll show you how to use the desolder station. I'm going to use that from now on because you see how clean these are versus how dirty these are. You know, these make a mess. This is so clean, so perfect. This chip, if I were to use the desolder station, it's just going to fall out. So that's coming up next but also in the past it's weird i gotta draw a timeline of this okay i'm going to show how to use the desoldering station this is when you absolutely positively must suck up every piece of solder so um i've already used it a few times to make sure i know what i'm doing because this is slightly more complicated and uh, dangerous than the others so, I have a gun here. Well, first I'm using the AOU version. I don't know how to pronounce that. 474A++. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I'm not going to show how to use it because it's complicated um, and you may not use this exact one. So, But you see I have the gun in my hand. If I squeeze the trigger, you hear that it's sucking. So, all I do is I fit it over the pin. Wait till it's melted and the solder is gone. So hold it, suck, gone. Hold it, suck, gone. Oops, missed that one. So this is fast and I'm doing it with the camera in my way, but if the camera are not in my way, I could probably desolder this in a couple seconds flat. So. This is the end-all be-all, and you can buy way more expensive versions than this. Uh, but again, it depends on what you want to use. Maybe you don't want to spend a lot of money. Maybe the desolder sucker is what you want. 
um, you're fine with that that's what I used uh, I will probably be using this from now on if I have extreme jobs like this um, but again it's up to you